All right, y'all. So we got Monique on Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay been booming lately. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. Shannon Sharp, he been doing it. Um, we got Monique here on uh Club Shay Shay, just talking about um Taraji P. Henson, uh, when she was doing those interviews about uh the inequality pay that excuse me that Hollywood actresses was getting and a Hollywood actors was getting and how they were lowballed, you know what I mean? And that's that's a big thing right now in Hollywood. And it'd be people who actually have money to, to pay them well and just don't pay them well, pay them for what they're worth. So now Club Shay Shay somehow figured out a way to get Monique onto this uh, interview, man. And uh, I think what she's saying here is very, very important. I think what she's saying, a lot of people need to hear. And, you know, everybody needs to understand the industry and, and what it really is, you know? So we just going to listen to what she's saying, man. Let me see some. Hopefully the volume is up. One second, y'all. Taraji. Mm hmm Broken. Mm hmm on those platforms, it was painful to watch. However, Taraji and I had a conversation over a decade ago. Yes. In my trailer, mm -hmm. when I was doing the Monique show. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, you gotta keep on getting it until your turn come. And I said, Taraji, most of us die before our turn comes. We gotta ask. Hey, that's deep. That's deep, you know, and, and I, Taraji's just trying to be positive, like just keep going until your turn come. She's just trying to look at it at, at, at a positive light. But that is facts. What if your turn ever come because you pass away? Like it, you just never know. Anything can happen. And lately, I think we've all been seeing that in RP to Carl uh Weathers from Rocky, you know, that that special moment in, in Rocky where he's just like, there is no tomorrow. That's facts. There is no tomorrow. What if tomorrow never comes for for you? Tomorrow isn't promised. We got to get it now. So she's, man, she's speaking. Ask for it right now. Now I understand that because there was a time I felt the same way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I was told. You're just trying to be positive in, in those moments, you know? Right. You just keep going and we'll get them the next time. We'll get them the next time. Mm -hmm. We'll get them the next time. And the next time never comes. Mm -hmm. And then you see our sister broken. Sitting on those platforms. Now, when I said it, when I said it. Why didn't it get the traction when you said it that when she said it, now all of a sudden everybody is coming? When I saw, I think there's a few reasons why. Number one, it was the messenger. I hmm. should just be grateful I got invited to the party. You a big, fat, black woman. How dare you be the one? And then on top of that. Pause, man. So she basically she's just being excluded to. She she's she's saying basically saying the same thing that Taraji P Henson would say, but she's not getting the 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 light because of she, because of, she's a different messenger. I can't even get my words right because she's a different messenger, and they're saying like, oh, you should be glad that you're even invited to any of this. You big black fat woman. Like, that's sad, you know? And that's uh, wow. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. You're saying names. You're saying Oprah's name out loud. You're hmm. saying Tyler's name out loud. You're saying Lee's name out loud. You're saying Lionsgate out loud. That's not what we do. We say they. We say the people. So they don't want to be exposed. They won't they want everything sugar coated. Don't say Lionsgate. Don't say paramount don't say perry don't say oprah winfrey and that's what monique was doing speaking calling them out by name and they said no call us they they them pathetic bro we say the studio we say the producers how dare you actually say our heroes names you're very specific these are our heroes how could you say their names out loud 
because they are the ones that did it. And if I don't say it out loud, now you see a woman that is swallowing that pain, that is so stressed out, then you see our sister Taraji P. Henson sit on that platform. And I love that baby because she's a beautiful spirit. Mm -hmm. But to see her that broken, what our community was, I think there's a few reasons. The saying was, we have a hard time, some of us, we have a hard time seeing a strong black woman with a back straight and a chin up and a strong black man standing by her side. We have a hard time accepting that. Hey, and that's facts, for real. Like, and I and I think once again most of these people be the higher up billionaires um that just don't want to see black people thrive, don't want to see black couples thrive. They want to see like a broke down black woman. And you can see that in the in a lot of Tyler Perry movies. Yeah, the movies be good or whatever, but there's always like a hidden message in them and it kind of like gives off the same message of like of of black women bro and just the black community and it's i don't know man it's just a whole bunch of hidden messages in in this industry bro and y'all 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 better stay woke y'all better wake up for real but we can accept seeing a black woman broken now it's really serious because she's falling apart our community had a hard time with those two things and when i would hear people say why is her husband there why is he there wow it's a sad day when we're questioning why a black man would stand with his black woman. So when you hear black women saying we're the most undervalued, disrespected, underserved, mistreated, violated, exploited, we get all of that. Then you see a black man standing with his black woman saying, not on my watch. And you hear some black men saying was, we saying, why, why her husband got to be there? We're in a sad state of affairs when we begin to question wow. black love and black unity. So they didn't want to hear me, some of them, because of what I look like, because I spoke about their heroes, and because they saw that man standing right there strong. I'm not the first one, but we get washed away in history so easily that we start thinking, oh, this is the first one. This is the first one. We keep repeating the same thing. It's a because cycle. Because what I said is no different than what anyone else is saying. Not, not at all. Right. It was the messenger saying. And that's deep, bro. Just because she looks different from Taraji, just because she got a little bit more weight, she she's getting looked at you know she's a different messenger saying the same thing man y'all once again y'all better stay woke bro y'all better stay woke because y'all see these big movie stars with cars with money with mansions um anything that they can buy but behind the scenes these people are selling their souls for these contracts. These people are selling their souls for these movies. These people are selling their souls for money. These people are doing rituals behind scenes. A lot of these celebrities are are, are warlocks and witches. Man, y'all better wake up, bro. She she really spitting facts. She really spitting spitting facts, man. And I think I think this is the ne next uh podcast video that's gonna blow up. For real, but yeah, I just have to react to that, man, because I think it's very important that everybody knows the behind the scenes of what's really going on in this industry, what's really going on in, in, in Hollywood. Y'all just see the glitz and the glamour, and it is it really don't even be worth it. You gain, you gain all that money, and then what? You lose your own soul. Now what do you have? That's why, why do you think a lot of these rich people be rich people be sad or depressed or, or, or killing themselves. They got all the money. They ain't got no soul. <laughs> what, what, it, what spiritual source are they connected to? They connected to it, to, to evil entities. That's telling them, kill yourself. That's telling them do this and do that. Wake up. <laughs> Anyways, man, that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope y'all like it. Make sure you give it a like, share, and comment. 
if you made it this far into the video uh comment like an emoji um just comment some praying hands in the, uh, in the in the comments man but yeah i'll catch you on the next one